Hockey Hall of Famer and Toronto Maple Leafs legend Doug Gilmore joins us to talk about all things hockey and you've got some exciting news if you're the ultimate Leafs fan. Well, it's an opportunity here, BNB, um, put together this package. Uh, you can go online and have an opportunity to go behind the scenes. You'll be with me uh, throughout the day of, a, of game and um, you have a chance to go to Raptors game the next, the following day and um, it's something that as far as a fan, you'll never see behind it. You'll be in the penalty box for warm up uh, behind the scenes with Mike Babcock, and it's it's, it's going to be a fun day. So it's it's Leafs game, sleep overnight at Air Canada Center, and then Raptors game, and like you said, a Mike Babcock press conference, which is different from most press conferences. He's he's kind of an entertaining guy when he's talking to the media. He's very intense. Yes, and uh, <laughs> that's that's easy for him to say. And and again, I, I understand because he's focused. He wants to win and. Um, but you'll have a chance that you know you'll see it on the news and stuff like that. But you're going to be right there to see it. So it's a, it's another part of it. Again, to be down in the penalty box, which uh, you never want to be in, but for warm up, <laughs> it's uh, it's always good. And, and then sit upstairs in the, in a box. So it'd be a lot of fun. Well, do you think you know the f a fan that's going to see this is going to see the daily pressures of what the NHL players and what the NBA players have? And and you know having played in Toronto yourself and and been playing in other cities before and after. There's a real pressure to win here. There is, but as pressure goes, you absorb it. You don't hide from it. Right. So you go out, you work hard each and every night, and uh, I believe good things will happen. Well, and I got to ask you about you know this year's Leafs because they're a lot like the Leafs that you were traded to in 1991. They were a young team, retooling, uh, on their way up. Hopefully, I, I, I like what you said, young team. Young Thank team. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was it was a big deal when you came here, and and yeah. and you know, again, it was a major trade that kind of set the franchise on the course for the next five years. You know, we're we're at the beginning of that right now. What do you think of this year's Toronto Maple Leafs? Well, obviously, with the the management hiring, uh, I know all those guys, and they're great people and uh, very knowledgeable. So uh, they're going the right way. Um, again, I, I think the biggest thing is that uh, you got to build within, and uh, they've got some great young uh, kids in the minors right now. They're in first place. Uh, you got some kids in junior that uh, are draft picks, and a lot of skill coming. Okay, so we're going to take you on your word on that because there's a lot of people, you know, been burned by this team before that you know believe that oh, you know, this is the guy, and it's not the guy. <laughs> I don't work for him, so don't. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only giving my my two cents here. So well, no, that's fair. That's fair. And and Doug, it's a uh, it's an it's an honor. You know, when you when you look back on your career. Um, in Toronto, what is your favorite moment in Toronto Maple Leafs? There's so many different moments, and uh, I think reflecting back and when the hiring of Pat Burns, and it just really brought in some key people like Mike Foligno, Mike Krusalinski, all these guys with the core guys there, and probably to this day one of my one of my favorite teams of all time, and we're all good friends to this day too. Um, one last thing before we go here. Was uh, did Kerry Frazier miss the high stick from Wayne Gretzky? Well, of course he did. All right, <laughs> that's all I wanted to know. 1993. If anybody gets that reference. We're